there's something about it when you share something of your dream with somebody else and they say to you, in other words, I can see this dream happening. Well, and then you aren't alone in that dream. Yeah. Someone who says, you've written a script. Someone who says, I can see this film being successful because I like it. And I, I think that that's, that's a wonderful feeling. And it's hard when you end up parting ways with someone like that. Because for me, it's not enough for me to just get my dream. I want to get my dream holding someone else's hand. I, I, you know, I want to get my dream and share it with someone. I don't want to be... Um, celebrating all by myself. I want to be celebrating with somebody who looks me in the eye and says, I knew you could do it. I knew it from the moment I looked at that script. I knew that this was going to happen. And there's something about that intimacy that I really adore. And it's hard when You've had someone like that who goes, I totally get your dream and I can totally see it happening. It's going to happen. And then they just disappear. And then you're, it's not, it's not as magical sipping the champagne alone. <laughs> so, <I'm sorry. laughs> of course, Will doesn't mind. He's like, just bring on the champagne. I'll just guzzle it all on my own. I really don't care if anyone else gets my dream. Okay. I'll just, I'll just have a ball. You know, he doesn't need anyone. But with me, I really love that feeling of, of a soulmate along with the dream. And you celebrate together. Because a celebration really only is a celebration in my world when there's someone else at the birthday party besides me. <laughs> someone else at the celebration, right? It's like, yeah, you know, happy birthday. There's your cake and there's your candle and just eat it by yourself. You know, that just... <laughs> you know, you just... There's something wonderful about somebody who believes in your dream it's even it's even more wonderful than the than the champagne 